Hello everybody and welcome to another War Thunder video and we've got a little bit of a shorter one today because, well, I guess I just wasn't expecting the game to last this long. Well, I thought it would be a bit longer than that. But I suppose what can you do when you get one of the smaller maps in air realistic battles in War Thunder? And today we are taking up the mighty Tempest Mark V, a fantastic vehicle with extreme power a lot of speed, a lot of climbing, and some devastating firepower. And enough of the other features like, for example, you know, durability and agility to make it very versatile. So, yeah. But back to the map. I wasn't... Well, this map isn't small, but everybody just kind of spawns closer together and as it is a front line map it's kind of obvious where everybody is supposed to slash ends up going a lot of air realistic maps you get all sorts of mini objectives dotted around the map and so some people just spread all across the map this is not one of those maps it's uh, quite easy to work out where everybody ends up going So, we are flying in the Tempest. Uh, I had a couple of hiccups trying to get a good game in this. Uh, the first one was pretty good, but it was only three assists, and the rest was a bit of a drag. Um, so I thought that wouldn't make for a very entertaining video, and this video ended up being way shorter than I thought it would be. But that just shows how quick of a game this was. It was an absolute uh, bloodbath. I guess you could say. See, everybody's pretty much already come into view. Now we're against predominantly Russians and Germans here, and a couple Chinese. And we're going to be taking some on. I was originally going for that B6, which turned around, but B6 is an night absolute nightmare to take down. It's very durable, and it's covered in 23mm cannons, which is probably going to do more damage than you are to it. There is a BF-109 coming straight for me, however. But it seems he's trying to disengage, maybe put me off, or maybe trying to make it harder. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one. And there he goes. That makes our first kill. And we bring it back round. B6 has gotten nearer, but I'm still not going to take my chances with that thing. And there's a lot more rich targets down here. A P-47, that is Chinese, and a Lavochkin 11, also Chinese. And we got a good hit on there in the head-on. Lucky to avoid any damage taken. And I was thinking about lining up on this P-47 because they're quite cumbersome. But then I realised, oh goodness, that LA-11 is not down for the count. So I bring it back round and decide to finish him off once and for all. Very nice clean kill. Now there's an ME-410. And oh no, there's another LA-9 behind us. So I've got to do something. Unfortunately, take a big hit to the wing. That's going to make things difficult. Although I think our teammate managed to finish him off. Now our maneuverability has been crippled. I just lost a flap there. But I still get some good hits and eventually finish off the ME410. Silencing that hornies. And it looks like our team managed to clear up the rest of the guys. Which is fantastic news for us. It means uh, we won't be in trouble for much longer. Which is great. Now that's kind of all that happens in the game. I just want to showcase it because it just really shows how quickly some of these games can occur. And it also kind of demonstrates the prowess of the Tempest Mark V. It's absolutely brilliant plane. Essentially a typhoon, uh, but with all the kinks ironed out. And basically making a perfect plane out of it. Retaining the excellent speed, giving it better handling, better armament, still retaining that awesome ground pound potential. And then putting it all together to make one incredible airplane. Now we have taken a bit of damage to the wing here. Yeah, that's definitely going to ruin it. I was going to, I could have uh, committed to the battle a bit more. I had a bit more cannon ammo left, but when I'm like this, I'm just not going to survive any dogfight I get into. How even a bomber pro probably made me think twice about a dogfight. And then with that being done, there's only one guy left on their team. So quite the short and sweet game. I didn't even know that at the time. 
I was I was thinking, oh, I could land, repair, and then get back up and maybe join the fight. But no, nope, he is gone, well and truly. Making this the end of the game. Not bad, I say. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do a victory roll or just land. I go with the just landing, though. Uh, we bring it in. And that was the game. Lovely stuff. Well played to our team. Nice results from a previous game. Well, I was trying to do a video on the Aero Cobra, and I probably will in future. Uh, in fact, I will in future, but um, it wasn't to be. I kept getting okay games, but none worth it. One, none worthy of the vi uh, video. So we'll leave it at the Tempest for now. There is a video coming out tomorrow as well on the uh, French P36, the H75, the Hawk 75, if you will. But today is all about the Tempest Mark V. Absolutely amazing aeroplane. We very nearly got it fully upgraded, so hurrah for that one. And if you have any more vehicles that you want me to play, then let me know down in the comments below. And until then, I will catch you next time with some more War Thunder gameplay.